Hi everybody, this is Lee. I had tried to look for a video online about how to use the Paylocity expense reporting app features and I could not find a good video so I decided to go ahead and make one. Open up the Paylocity app on your phone and you should have this menu or something very similar. Go ahead and click on that expense. Boop. Um, from here you're going to see reports, expenses, and receipts. Um, what you want to do I find it easiest just to go ahead and go to expenses and add a new expense. Receipts, you can record receipts anytime that you want. Uh, I do not find it particularly helpful because under expenses, you go to new expense, you can go ahead and add a receipt right there. Now I happen to have a, a receipt um, from a, uh, yeah, ooh, not, not from my expense receipt gallery, uh, but from my phone library. You can either take a photo right then and there or take a photo from your phone library. I haven't already taken a screenshot of it. I've got some donuts here that was for a client. So I'm going to name this uh, Donuts. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click on the dollar value and add the amount $31.82 worth of donuts that were very delicious. Title, I'm going to name this Donuts. Uh, go ahead and be as descriptive as your supervisor requires. The transaction date on this was October 22nd. It is always very helpful on your receipts to go ahead and include that transaction date so that you know where to put it. Under category, you can see these are some pretty self-identifying um, items. Uh, airfare, you're going to have a receipt. Car rental, you're going to have a receipt. Entertainment, you're going to have a receipt. Lodging, meals, mileage, whatever. We'll cover that one in a moment. Phone, internet. I'm going to call this other um, simply because this was actually donuts for not even my client, but uh, one of my uh, coworkers' clients. Describe this expense, uh, donuts for a customer visit from Summit. Summit's the name of the customer. Save that. Um, you can add any notes that are required, but at this point, now that all the fields are complete, you can go ahead and click Save. This expense has been saved. Okay, so there it is. Now we're going to add another expense for mileage just to show how you can do that. Now, I happen to have taken a photo of my, go ahead to gallery. I took a photo of my tripometer and I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, you can see in the photo, the total mileage was 170.9 miles. I'm going to call this trip to customer. Submit. Now the photo is uploaded. Now again, for mileage, you might not necessarily need to do that. I am going to find it helpful and I'm probably going to continue to do that in the future. Now, the dollar value here is going to calculate automatically. Under category, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click mileage. The title, I'm going to call this customer trip. Correct my spelling, why not? Transaction date, this was October 25th that I went to the customer. Um, I skipped over this last time. So under payment method, uh, I assume this would be where your company credit card might be listed if you have one. Uh, if you have maybe different accounts that things are charged to, this would be where it goes. The way that my company works is that I make the expense and I am reimbursed in cash. And so cash is my only option. I'm not going to select anything here. Now, uh, you can see that my mileage rate is 15 cents per mile. Um, I went 171 miles. I know everybody it was 170.9 miles, but I'm going to go ahead and get that extra penny on there. Um, customer purpose. And then at that point, you can see that the um, the, the value of $25.65 was calculated. Uh, customer purpose, it's required. Uh, customer uh, sample, ma sample material delivery. And new business meeting. So now that everything is completed, you can go ahead and save that. Expense has been saved. So now I've got these two things that I want to convert into a report. From the reports 
section of the menu, you can add a new report. Now, I actually have one already going called Demonstration, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do that. So here you'll need to complete the title, Demonstration. The business purpose was Visit and Donuts. Go ahead and save that, and now you can add expenses. So from here, you can either create a new expense, or since we've already done that, we're going to add existing expense. So we're going to select this one and this one, and we're going to attach them. And just like magic, they show up, and it gives you a nice total of $57.47. Go ahead and save that. And now this is where you can save and submit or save for later. I'm going to select save for later because what I actually did was I've actually already submitted these. You can see on my screen I have one called pending, uh, which I have submitted to my supervisor. I assume that um, within their screen somewhere like this that there's a, an approval button. And I have one that's been paid of $326.99. Now, that $326.99 then will appear on my next paycheck. And just to clear up any confusion, I was a little surprised because I went ahead and looked at my paycheck and it was higher than usual and I was like, what's this all about? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love more money than I'm expecting. But what it was, was it was actually the $326.99. When I looked at the itemization of it though, um, there was no single line item. There were actually three line items. One was for travel, one was for expense, reimbursement and one was for meals and so uh, you're not going to have one number that you can just be like oh there's my $326.99 it was actually in three different categories and so again it was slightly confusing but now that I understand it I get it. Hope that helps everybody out. Good luck with your expenses.